Hello there, my name is Richard McMahon from the interview training website, passmyinterview.com, and in this tutorial, I will teach you how to pass a desktop support interview. So if you are applying for any desktop support worker, analyst, or technician position with any organization whatsoever, make sure you stay tuned because I promise to help you pass your interview at the very first attempt. And to achieve that goal, this is what I will cover in this presentation. Number one, so I am going to give you a list of desktop support job interview questions I strongly recommend you prepare for. Number two, I am going to give you two important tips for answering each of those interview questions correctly. Number three, I am then going to give you an example answer to each desktop support interview question to help you pass your interview at the first attempt. And then finally, number four, I will tell you where you can instantly download my full set of 21 desktop support interview questions and top scoring answers in a PDF guide. And just very quickly, if you are new to my channel, please make sure you hit that subscribe button. I am here to help you pass every job interview you ever attend and also progress throughout your career. I can only do that if you are subscribed and please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like because that motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. Okay, so the first interview question I strongly recommend you prepare for is tell me about yourself. So this will be the first desktop support interview question you must answer. I strongly recommend you practice your response until you know it off by heart because this will ensure your interview gets off to a positive and confident start. And tip number two, in your answer, talk about the skills and qualities you can bring to the position, any experience you have, and also give a brief explanation as to what you do in your free time. So here's my top scoring example answer to help you. Tell me about yourself, here we go. Thank you for the opportunity to be interviewed for this desktop support position with your organization today. I would describe myself as a diligent, attentive, knowledgeable, and fast working desktop support worker who has the skills and attributes to match the job description. I have several years experience working for various companies where the need to solve challenging IT and technical problems to maintain our clients' needs was the priority. After graduating from college with grades in computer science and mathematics, I worked as a desktop support analyst for an established company where I learned the importance of working at pace and meeting challenging support targets. Outside of work, I keep myself fit and active and I am a member of several IT networking groups which helps keep my knowledge updated. If you hire me, I will quickly fit into the support team and work hard to help you maintain your position as a market leader in this industry. That is a brilliant answer and it will help get your desktop support worker interview off to a positive start. Now you can either pause the video if you want to and write down the questions and answers as we work through them together or if you wait I will soon tell you where you can instantly download my full set of 21 desktop support worker interview questions and top scoring answers in a PDF guide. Here's the next question. Why do you want to work in desktop support? Tip number one. So this next common desktop support interview question is assessing your motivations for wanting to work in this challenging role. Tip number two, in your answer, talk about the fact you will be pushed and challenged in your work, your technical skills will be utilized fully, and also mention how you enjoy going above and beyond to help people. Here's my top scoring example answer to assist you. Why do you want to work in desktop support? Here we go. I want to work in desktop support because I enjoy the technical challenges that I am presented with each day. It is a role where I feel pushed and challenged. And because I am passionate about client and customer service, I always strive to go above and beyond for the people I am helping, which gives me great job satisfaction. I also want to work in desktop support because I enjoy learning about new technological advancements and emerging trends in the industry. 
Working in desktop support, no two days are ever the same, and there will always be demand for highly skilled, experienced and knowledgeable support technicians, which gives me job security. That's another great answer. You can see how these responses will help you beat the competition at your forthcoming interview. Now, don't go anywhere because I still have more questions and answers to give you. But when you're ready, click that link in the top right hand corner of the video, head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can instantly download a copy of these slides plus my full set of 21 desktop support job interview questions and top scoring answers in a PDF guide. Here's the next question. What skills and qualities are needed to work in desktop support? Tip number one. So this next common interview question is being asked to assess your understanding of the job description. Okay, so make sure you read the job description before you attend your interview. It's really important because it will give you several clues as to what they are looking for from the ideal candidate. Tip number two, in your answer, be sure to mention client stroke customer service skills, attention to detail, analytical and critical thinking capabilities, and obviously knowledge of computer operating and IT security systems. So here's my top scoring response to help you pass your interview. What skills and qualities are needed to work in desktop support? Here we go. The most important skills and qualities needed include analytical thinking skills, the ability to communicate clearly, including asking the right probing questions, listening and creating solutions to challenging technical problems. You must collaborate well with other desktop support analysts and technicians, have in-depth knowledge of computer systems, hardware and software packages and operating and security systems and also have exceptional attention to detail skills. Customer and client service skills are also a must, as is the ability to take responsibility for your ongoing development to keep your knowledge and expertise updated with the ever-changing IT industry. Finally, flexibility and adaptability, a passion for going above and beyond what is required and a fast pace of work are also needed in this role. So that's a comprehensive answer. It shows that you fully understand the skills and qualities you will need to excel in the position of a desktop support worker. Here's the next question. How would you handle multiple people, each with a high priority problem? Tip number one. So this is another common desktop support interview question that is assessing your multitasking and prioritizing skills. Tip number two, the most effective way to answer this difficult question is to say you will seek assistance from other available support technicians, resolve the easiest problems first to free up time, and then keep all customers informed as to your progress. Here's my top scoring response to assist you. How would you handle multiple people each with a high priority problem? Here we go. I would first speak to my colleagues in the desktop support team to see if anyone was available to assist with the problems. I would assess each problem to ascertain which ones could be resolved quickly. This would free up time to concentrate on the more complex issues. I would regularly communicate with the client or customer and keep them updated on progress. And finally, I would limit distractions and work tirelessly until all problems were resolved. So that's a short, concise, but confident answer that shows you can multitask and also more importantly, prioritize your work accordingly to meet your clients or customers' needs. Here's the next question. What have you done to keep up with technology since your last position? Tip number one. So this question features often during desktop support job interviews. It is being asked because technology changes and advances regularly within the IT sector, as you already know. Tip number two, in your response, talk about several different things you have done to maintain competence in your work. You could talk about the fact that you have read books, you have networked and also completed training courses to maintain professional competence in your role. Here's my top scoring response to help you. 
What have you done to keep up with technology since your last position? I network regularly with other IT support specialists where I share information and learn from others on emerging trends and challenges within the IT industry. I recently read several books on artificial intelligence to keep updated on the progress in this area because it will have a massive impact on the IT sector. Finally, I recently completed an IT technical support course on the website udemy.com to make sure my knowledge and skills were up to date. So that's a really good example answer you can use at your desktop support worker interview to help you pass at the first attempt. Here's the next question. What are your strengths and weaknesses? So this is another common desktop support interview question I recommend you prepare for. Do not give a weakness that is a match for anything listed on the job description. Again, please make sure you read the job description before you attend your interview. And tip number two, give several strengths and just one weakness in your answer that will do you no harm. Public speaking is a great weakness to give for this type of position. Here's my example answer to help you. What are your strengths and weaknesses? My strengths include my in-depth and diverse technical knowledge that covers a diverse range of subjects. I am an excellent communicator and listener and can explain complex technical issues in easy to understand terminology. Other strengths include my ability to multitask, prioritize my work quickly, and my flexibility and adaptability, meaning I will work additional hours when needed to ensure the smooth functioning of the desktop support team. My weakness is that I am not very good at public speaking or giving presentations to large groups. While this weakness will not affect my ability to perform my duties competently, if there are ever any opportunities in this role for me to give talks to my team, then I would like to give it a try. That's a really good answer. It's a really good weakness. It is a safe weakness that will do you no harm in your interview. And lots of people are not very good at public speaking. Here's the next question. What would you do if there was an internal conflict between you and a co-worker? This is a difficult one. Tip number one. Now, conflict with co-workers occurs often in the workplace, but it can hinder the performance of a team, so it must be resolved quickly. Tip number two, in your response, say that you would deal with the conflict yourself as a professional and mature employee and do all you could to reach an amicable agreement with your co-worker. Here's my top scoring response to assist you. What would you do if there was an internal conflict between you and a co-worker? The success and effective operation of the desktop support team would be my priority, so I would do all I could to resolve the conflict quickly and amicably. First, I would assess my own actions to ensure I wasn't contributing negatively to the conflict. Next, I would speak to my co-worker privately to establish the root of the problem and then work hard to find a way forward we were both comfortable with, which benefited the team. I would always be prepared to compromise in any situation to ensure the smooth running of the desktop support department was maintained. That's a great answer. It shows you to be someone who wants to fit into the team and you put the priorities of the desktop support department first, which is the important thing to focus on in your answer. Now, the next thing to do, if you want to download all of these answers, plus my full set of 21 brilliant responses to desktop support worker interview questions, is click that link right now in the top right-hand corner of the video. Head straight through to my website, passmyinterview.com, and you can download the full guide that contains 21 desktop support interview answers. It's a fantastic resource. You can literally have it in your inbox within two minutes from now. Make sure you check that out. Also, if you are not interested in the guide, make sure you do go through to that website because on the page, I have given you three smart questions to ask at the end of your desktop support worker interview. They will say to you at the end of your interview, do you have any questions for us? Most people say, no, I don't have any questions. You covered everything during the interview. That is a big mistake. There's three questions you can ask that will further increase your chances of success. Make sure you check those out. Also, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. 
Literally thousands of you, and I mean thousands of you, are passing your interviews at the first attempt. I can only help you if you are subscribed. Please give the video a thumbs up, give it a like, because that tells me you find these tutorials useful, and it also motivates me to create more content for you. Thank you very much indeed. And don't forget to connect with me on LinkedIn. I have put my LinkedIn link in the description below the video. It's always a pleasure and an honor to connect with like-minded professionals such as yourself. Thank you for watching and I wish you all the very best for passing your desktop supporter interview. Have a great day.